It's said before, and maybe you've heard this, that life is about 10% of what happens and 90% of how we respond. 10% of what actually happens and 90% of how we respond. Here's the difference that Jesus makes in a world of struggle. Knowing Jesus doesn't change the fact that we'll struggle in this life, but it changes how we respond and react to the suffering we face. King David in the Old Testament and Psalm 13, verse 1, he writes these words that will resonate with all of us. How long, Lord? <laughs> you can stop right there. Some of us have been struggling for a long time. Some of us have been waiting for a long time. We've been saying prayer after prayer, believing and believing, waiting and waiting. And we're at this place in our lives where we say, How long, Lord? Will you forget me forever? Because it can feel like that, can it? God, have you forgotten me? You, I'm over here. I got problems. You're God, I need you. How long will you hide your face from me? And David finds himself at this point of like, God, where are you at? He says, these are words that may be difficult for me to utter. They may make it feel like, God, somehow I'm not believing in you in this moment, but they're honest and they're real and they're vulnerable. And he cries out to God. And the important part to understand about this is not only that these words are okay to say to him, but also that David doesn't stay there. When I counsel folks that are walking through struggles and tough stuff of life, I often say, you know what? Please feel what you feel. If you're in pain, feel the pain. If you're hurting, feel the hurt. If you're angry, be angry. If you're questioning of God, question God. Yell at God. Be mad at God, but don't stay there. 